This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tour review and today Enki, which is Irons Factory Samurai Series Sideswipe. And I gotta say, I don't see much of a samurai. Like, I mean, the weapon, definitely. Uh, but he could have used, like compared to Drift, which uh, the Lux Baldwin had sent me after I won a contest. Uh, you know, he he had a more samurai look, like the Kabuto. You know, like this is just sideswipe head sculpt. So I don't know. I I kind of wanted a little more samurai look, but he still looks really good, and he's not that complicated to transform, except the feet. Because, yeah, of course, I put it here, but I've already played with that. So, yeah. So, thanks for coming by. I, I'm i really looking forward to Sunstreaker. That's the reason I got this, guys, because there's probably going to be a Sunstreaker to go with it. It's been announced. It just hasn't been uh, released for uh, full price for the pre-orders and everything. So, I'm really hoping to get this. I got this one from H3 and up, but I'm probably going to order from Shozy Store because... It was uh, $9 cheaper, actually no, $15 cheaper on Shozy uh, rather than uh, H3's and up. So maybe custom's gonna be a problem, I don't know, but we'll uh, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I really uh, like uh, this, uh, this toy and I'm just gonna review it for you. But before I do that, I just wanna remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature on my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out the interview playlist if you wanna hear stories from the actors themselves. Uh, and also from uh, Flynn Dilly, who was a writer on the G1 show and so much more. Uh, so uh, yeah, check that out. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformer. And now let's roll the intro. and side swipe. Okay, first we have uh, what's in the box, but we have the box. Uh, I don't know what all of these symbols uh, mean. I'm guessing they say Iron Factory at some point and maybe Iron Samurai Series, Enki. Uh, little uh, Iron Factory logo. IFEX73. H15 plus and some nice product shot he looks he looks like a sideswipe and I do have to say that the alt mode is pretty amazing and there's you know some stuff you can do if you want to scan codes with your phone that's pretty much it uh, you do have the instructions which are good yet not that great a couple of steps that I wish would have been like different the feet are absolutely terrible to flip. Uh, they say that you have to move this a little bit, and but it's super painful to do, and you're afraid to break it. So just be careful. But for the most part, uh, it looks good. I don't know why they flip the head at the end. You can do that up front, uh, and it gives you uh, you know better access. Um, so yeah, so there you go, and nothing in the back. You have little hands uh, packaged. You have these closed fists. Uh, which I've removed because um, I want him to hold weapon. You can actually uh, transform uh, with uh, the um, that that open uh, well that you know those hands whatever uh, these are. But uh, with these, you uh, there's a little hole underneath, and I think it's if you want to put the weapon inside so that he's holding it underneath. But it created a huge. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a bit of a stress mark. Uh, yeah, you can almost see it on the fist. So I don't recommend it. I think they just wanted to add um, all of this, but you can have a kind of closed look with the weapon, but they don't go the whole way. So I don't know if that was just a way to save money or you have the jazz hands. Uh, open finger, look really good. 
Uh, probably not going to use those much. I like my bots to open weapons. And then you have the, you know, weapon hands. Uh, which are looking uh, pretty good. And they do the job. You can have a over the fist grip. If you want. Which looks really good. But if you really want to, you can have a underneath grip like this. And kind of looks good too. I don't know, but it feels a little more badass to do it like that. And I'm not a weapons expert, especially not for Japanese lore. I don't even know what the name of that blade is. Uh, punch dagger uh, from D&D, that's what we would use. So, yeah. And you have the lance which looks really good nice detail you know silver with all the little ridges and it goes in the hand really well and one thing i do like about this mold is the fact the way the hand is articulated you can kind of twist it like this to give you that you know extra lunge when he's like running to stab someone you can you know pop the weapon a little more that he's really going for the maximum reach to stab someone so that's that's pretty cool uh, but otherwise you know you can slide it all the way and it slides in pretty well and then it you know gets out uh, fairly easily it's not super tight like some of the other weapons I've seen uh, on other bots uh, but it looks really good yeah. and I'm a big side swipe fan he's my Almost second favorite bot because I love Sunstreaker so much. Of course, I'm gonna love Sideswipe, voiced by Michael Bell. Check out the spotlight and the interview I did uh, with Michael. Uh, really interesting. I love the details uh, of Sideswipe here. Uh, of course, this is a stylized version, so it's different. Like, you don't have, like, you have part of the hood, you don't have the whole hood. Uh, and then you have the gunmetal for the, you know, for the bottom of the chest here, which is the grill. Uh, but that's very stylized. The alt mode is really nice. Uh, the face sculpt, though, I wish you would have a different uh, helmet. You know, to more like, a, I think the word is Kabuto. I wish he had that. Uh, but, I mean, it's still a side swipe. Huge chin. I don't remember him having that much of a big chin. But it's there. Like, it's sticking out pretty, pretty far. And then you have, you know, his usual ears and... Uh, the colors are pretty good too. Uh, this is mostly, uh, you know, colored uh, red plastic, colored black, and a little paint. Like the face is uh, painted, uh, the eyes are painted. Got metal here, that uh, little triangle, and the details. Now I love the details on the legs. Like, you know, these are obviously uh, exhaust port uh, and, uh, you know, a back grill. But you do have a feel of a knee guard. And then you have that little rope here. You know, so that he, it's like a samurai tying his, uh, his pads, his, uh, you know, yeah, his pads. I really like the style of this. I wish they would have done a little more, you know? Like, there's a little bit of a mark here, uh, so that kind of like gives you more details, but it's not as pronounced as this little uh, rope here. So, nice detail. I really wish uh, that there was more. Uh, you have the, you know, white plastic. Or like kind of like off-white and now I don't know why there's a hair sticking out here all right there you go um yep not much uh, hollowness a little bit in the back if you remove the spoilers uh, nice silver uh, but this is where the feet will go in alt mode and it's a freaking pain to do I don't I really don't like the feet transformation but compared to drift this guy was a breeze I really like it. It better. It's cold enough to freeze the ailerons off a titanium moose bot. And now for articulation, you have, uh, well, up a little bit, down quite a bit. Uh, you do have a full rotation of the head, a little bit of attitude. You have a pop-up joint uh, for the shoulder here for the transformation. Uh, you do have a, a huge backpack, but you can still get your Ferris wheel out of this joint. You have a rotation at the shoulder. You have a double elbow. 
really good. And then the hand rotates on itself like that and it's on a ball joint so you can get that uh, back and forth maneuver like this. So that's pretty neat. You have a very complicated waist rotation if you want to, but you can achieve it. It's just you have to move everything out, but you do have your uh, merry-go-round. Um, in the instruction, they show you to have these parts here uh, in the back, but I choose to display them a little forward instead, just to give them that more of a tacit look for the uh, the samurai, like those um, tie guards, uh, which I'll show uh, with drift uh, in a moment. But uh, yeah, I. I really prefer that. You do have... Oh, do you? Do you have a Johnny Cage? Uh, yep, there you go. A full, glorious Johnny Cage. And then you have a... Well, you do have a rotation at the tie. But it's kind of awkward to do because of uh, the way it's... Uh, because of that part here, the upper guard... Uh, Kind of gets in the way so you have to move the leg to there you go to complete it uh be careful there's a joint here to connect the uh the butt to the lower back and it's not that tight like there's a nice click when you put it but it doesn't hold so well uh you have a very okay knee bend like it's a double joint but because of transformation and because of the spoiler it doesn't well, I guess you kind of have a 90, but it's not the greatest 90. And then uh, the feet are on a ball joint and they're a pain, but you do get a uh, ankle, uh, yeah, and a, a toe tilt and you have a rocker, but the rocker is because there is an actual joint underneath here that you need for transformation. So yeah, but you do have with the rest a um, bit of a rocker, not much though. And oh, forgot to put that in. That's for the alt mode. So there you go. So I put my little tacit in front just to give him more protection. And the back is a mess. Um, there's no way to clip the whole back. I don't know why they kind of shoved everything in the back. Most side swipe that we have, there's a, you know, there's no backpack to him. So. I guess it's to give him a, uh, you know, not have tires at the shoulders and stuff like that. So, but I'm not gonna complain because it's a uh, pretty good uh, transformation and it's a very nice uh, alt mode. So I think they really did a good job on that. And I just realized I could uh, put a little uh, Autobot logo uh, on there. I have some toy hacks left, so I'll do that. So there you go. And now I'm gonna clean this up and give you some size comparison. Uh, starting with Magic Square Sideswipe. And I dig the metallic color of this guy. Uh, that's the version I got. I kind of wish this guy also had the uh, shoulder cannon. But I mean, I guess the samurai thing don't have uh, many, uh, many guns. But um, this transformation was atrocious. The legs are a it's painful. Um, I actually, I think I like this one just a little better. Masterpiece Sideswipe, and you can see a huge difference in size. Kingdom Sideswipe, I think that's a very great representation of Sideswipe. And G1 Sideswipe, which by the way, is the heaviest Sideswipe I have amongst all the one I just showed you. All right, and uh, now let's do some uh, transformation. They're gonna wish they'd never been assembled. <laughs> This is a great alt mode. I have to say, it the transformation might be painful, but it is worth it. Uh, very nice wheels, uh, nice pins. You know, same uh, same joint, and the same pins on both wheels, so it doesn't look goofy like uh, most Hasbro products. Uh, I like the window, uh, the black. Uh, mine has a bit of a blemish. Uh, that's probably my fault. Uh, so yeah, just be careful when you transform him. There's a lot of, you know, pieces that rub against one another. So just want to be careful with that. But it looks really good. Cleans up real nice underneath. I mean, you can see the arms, the legs, but not too much. No problem. 
them blow, just follow my lead! This is a very soft surface, so it doesn't... Uh, I have to press on it for it to roll. But if... But if I put it, put it on this uh, old uh, dirty mouse pad, rolls fine. So there you go. I really like this alt mode. I could do without the uh, blade sticking out, but it's really nice. Nice gunmetal with the uh, you know silver for the headlights. Uh, looks good. Like I said, the windshield black. Uh, it's not the first time we've seen that on Sideswipe, so looks good. Uh, I wish Toy Hacks the decals for Iron Factory, so I could get maybe some, uh, you know, cell shaded stuff, or it's more my taste. Um, you don't have much like this joint shows here, but pretty much the rest, yeah, it cleans up really good. Uh, you know, just big square here for the if you remove the blade. Uh, spoiler is kind of weird, but it looks good. And here, you know, they could be, um, would that be considered like some air intakes? Kinda, we'll see. I'm, I'm waiting to see what Sunstreaker is gonna look like. I hope he looks exactly like that, just with a different, uh, a different, a different uh, air intake. That'd be really nice. Oh, there you go. And the back end looks really good. All right. All right, let's do some quick comparison in alt mode. Here is Iron Factory NQ with Alternator Sideswipe. Toxitron G2 Sideswipe, which I've converted into Synthwave thanks to Toy Hacks. This is the standard Kingdom mold that we've seen a couple times now. Looks, uh, I, I really like it, but uh, you can see the similarities. Uh, but also you can see, you know, very different uh, front end uh, and spoiler. So, which, because there's no spoiler. Eh, can't have it all. And Buzz Woody Bumblebee Silver Streak, just because he's already in alt mode. Well, there you go, guys. That's uh, the finale for this video. I'm trying to zoom in on him because he's a little small, but uh, I really dig this figure. It's really nice. I've been waiting for a while for it to arrive, and I'm glad that it did. And I can't wait to have uh, the the you know Sunstreaker version of this. So, because it's a different mold, we've seen that from the render, so I don't want to uh, repaint. So, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back after more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives it a right to be an asshole. Take care.